we need houses. Is, it, is the problem, though, you know when they extend a lane on a motorway and then about half an hour after it's all up and up and running, you suddenly go, this motorway is still absolutely chocker. We need another lane. Are we going to have that? I mean, Nick just mentioned in his neck of the woods they need 20,000 more homes. You fill those 20,000 homes like that, right? And then someone's going to go, well, actually, we need... Yeah, we sort of need another 20,000. I think there's other consideration. Let's speak with Miles Shipside, director at Right Move. Miles, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Um, you know all too well what demand looks like when it comes to housing, and it's through the roof at the moment, right? It's still very high, admittedly not as high as it was, because obviously we've got uh, some of the highest mortgage rates we've seen for, yeah. for quite a number of years. So that has dampened off the uh, demand for people to buy, but the underlying need for housing is still there, both rented and obviously affordable mm. for more people to purchase. Yeah, and I guess, you know, whether people are buying, you know, wh whether people are renting, you know, we often see almost bidding wars over people renting a place these days. You know, you can stick something up on a website, whether it's right move or elsewhere, and, you know, b but within about three minutes, you've got 200 people making an inquiry. So, so short is the stock. Yeah, and this is a deep-seated long-term problem. Interestingly, the 370,000 a year target we were building that many social houses mm. back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, admittedly, that was to do with slum clearance. But what you had in the country was, was a big vision of we need to clear lots of slums. Uh, let's have fit for habitation housing. Um, and there seemed to be a, a, a lot of not only political will behind it, there was money available, uh, but also I suppose the public were more accepting of it because we were clearing away swathes of inadequate housing that wasn't fit to live in. So the fact that uh, we haven't addressed this problem for the last 40 or 50 years means that uh, we really are in a perfect storm situation. Several years of really cheap interest rates, which boosted demand, yeah. uh, but not enough supply, both of social, social housing uh, and affordable homes to buy. Indeed. And, and rented as well. Miles, thank you for your time. Appreciate that. Miles Shipside, director of Right Move. That is genuinely my concern, is that I don't think one and a half million homes will go very far. I, look, I've always said this. You want to support your government, whether you voted for them or not, if they are doing the right thing. You know, if we're in a war situation, I want Starmer to, to do it properly. I want to be able to support the, the man, the head honcho, uh, in times of serious trouble. The property market, the housing crisis, are times of serious trouble. I mean, this is real stuff. This is not like some side dish of a, well, it's a bit of jip that the government have to regularly deal with. We've got a housing crisis. We haven't got enough houses. What we've also got is a population crisis. We've got an immigration crisis. We've got all of these things going on. And that's the truth, isn't it? And I go back to my motorway analogy. Uh, everybody's done it. I was, where was I going the other day? Was it the M3? One of those godforsaken roads where you just think, how long have I got to sit in there? You know where they've got the, um, the, the um, very, what's it called? The very speed, variable speed limit camera. Um, I think it was the M25. It's got one on the M25 between junctions sort of five and eight or so, or five and seven. Um, one of those slow down things, and I think that's about putting more refuge lanes in. Um, and then I think the M3 has got, are they still doing the widening to make it a smart motorway? But you just know that every time they make these things bigger, you know, years ago, the M25 was three lanes, then it's four lanes. I think there's now, is it five lanes in some? Or whatever it happens, or they're just making the names. Whatever they're doing, it's never enough. And uh, because the moment they do it, it's, it fills up automatically. And I can only sort of see a similar thing with the housing problem as well if you stick you know i don't know what five thousand houses in my neck of the woods back it'd be gone like that you go we need another five thousand it's never going to stop jane says i can't believe folk put these people in charge can't stand rainer reeves or starmer i didn't vote to be worst off fill the black hole with money from those that spent it not me it's a fair point uh one and a half million homes in five years uh, that's 823 homes a day says mega vegan Three, three weeks in, homes built, zero. It's a good point, actually, if you crunch it like that.